This is the Repro Labels sticker or label sheet and upgrade kit for the Transformers Titans Return Voyager class Galvatron. And man, big thanks to Alex at toyhacks.com and reprolabels.com for sending over this neat set. Once again, these guys absolutely delivered with this set. This is the regular sheet, which I've used all the stickers. And this is the alternate sticker sheet that has that metallic uh, honeycomb type of styling, which is also pretty nice, as well as the stickers for the Minicon. I use these. Um, I, I like the regular ones better. Uh, and uh, I'll show you the upgrade kit for the Megatron, uh, Megatron, for the Galvatron helmet uh, when I show you the, the Minicon. So... Man, uh, you know what? L let's start something different uh, this time. We'll, we'll try alt modes, and then we'll do the robot mode last. Because robot mode is just fantastic with these stickers. Now, I didn't think this figure could get any better. I'm sure Takara Tomy will give, of course, will give a better, a more show accurate paint apps. The Tasbro's toy, toy accurate paint apps or color scheme. But I was very happy with the Hasbro version. Um, I was okay with the paint apps. Uh, it was Galvatron for me. I love the orange, gray, and purple on it. But with the Repro Labels stickers, you can already see how much different the figure looks and how much better just a few highlights can do to a particular figure. Look at this. Let's start with the gun. We'll, sh we'll see more of the gun later in uh, robot mode. And by golly, look at that. Just a few chrome highlights and it makes the gun look so sophisticated. Uh, I think out of all the stickers I, I placed on this one, I did find the website and this time around. I didn't have to guess where everything where, uh, went in here and there, but the website was very helpful. This was the most difficult parts to put on. Not, not these sides. These were easy, but these. Uh, there's, a, there's a sticker, there's a label that oh, I have the... Uh, it's silver, but it's very, very thin. It has very, very thin parts over here to cover up uh, these ridges on. Let me show you that on the gun. And as you can see, I was I was wondering whether they were going to hold because the Hasbro mold had a lot of imperfections. That's where the mold was cut and all that. But somehow the stickers did stay in place, and I was very, very surprised. I'm going to show you more of it. Let me just see if I can take it up. And look at this. Somebody's texting. Uh, look at this. It does hold on. There's a lot of, uh, as you can see, there is some plastic that's been cut right there that's, that's still left on it. And the sticker does hold and sticks to it. I was very surprised. Um, and look at that. Just that little detail uh, that Repro Labels have, have put on this one just makes, makes all the difference. Let me see if I can get that light going on. And that was I, that was the most difficult thing to put on, I think. But once you get it on, it it's 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 awesome. Look at that. Even here, uh, I, 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 I was afraid it would not stick because of that cut. The way they cut the plastic right there, there was a little bit of imperfection. But it does stick, so it's fine. Very very nice. Look at this. There there was a metallic red foil sticker that we stuck on. I was I was say and I was thinking, man, it would be a shame to lose all that detailing of the ridges and those uh, lines. But the lines do still show up even if you put that foil sticker on. So it's great. It's just highlighted it. So very very nice. Okay, onto the jet mode. You get to see this one. This is the biggest highlight for the jet mode. I think the stick these stickers here. You cover up that bigger. Decepticon symbol that was overlapping in places everywhere. This one gives it a better, better detail, a cleaner look to it. Look at this. They even put the sticker on the, on the canopy, which is just great. And more stickers on the on the leg. We'll show that off in, in robot mode. Um, and even here, they 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 do have bits of stickers here for the fins, and on both sides. And I was like, what? Look at that. I was like, they weren't as difficult to put on as I thought they would be. And we'll talk about the tank treads in, in gun mode. So very, very cool. And look at that. Even the tiniest detail over there. Wow. Wow. All right. Let's turn him into his assault cannon mode or gun mode, whatever. Out of the way. 
Been a while since I transformed this guy. Okay. 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 And this one. Uh, right there. And you can already see the robot. Uh, chest with all of the stickers on it. Wow. Look at that. I'll show it off more in robot mode. But then you see here at the back of the jet uh, nose cone, you get to see this fantastically. I think this is also one of the highlights of the sticker sheet. I love this. It's like uh, the control computer um, co console system for the cockpit, which is, I think, evident in the old G1 toy. And you get to see more of the cannon. Right there, there's that little red dot that they put. <laughs> it wasn't as hard to put as I thought it would be. I used pair, two pairs of twi tweezers, one flat and one pointed. And look at that. How much different this thing looks because of these stickers. So I'm here to cover up the screws. And look at that. And it's springtime with the birds chirping. So still, look at that. Look at that, all the silver on it. Looking very good. Looking very, very sharp. As Galvatron in his cannon mode. All right, and let's get him into robot mode. And this is, I think, the best, best, best showcase of, of these Repro Label stickers. The robot mode. They, they really nailed it with this one. Let me see. Alright, uh, so normally, oh, let's talk about the Minicon. There's a small sticker that they put there to make him look more like Megatron. Uh, come, on, come on, there you go. Uh, and look at that, that little chest sticker makes him look so much like Megatron. Of course, the screw to cover, uh, the, the sticker to cover up that screw. And normally, let's see, there's even a highlight right there, a silver highlight. Normally, you would use this one, and yeah, it's okay, it's okay. But Galvatron looked something like this. I, mean, I, I do have some, yeah. this is my uh, low tech ghetto style showing you guys how Galvatron looks like, and um, he does it, it's it, it's okay. But it, it's a lot more flared up. His helmet is, is a lot more flared up. And I'm going to show you that in a while. What Toy Hacks did, or Repro Labels, is they gave you the, these. I was surprised they actually did molded plastic upgrade kits. Um, they come in, in nicely packaged in these. Uh, it's like a bubble bubble type of uh, packing. I, I'm surprised they actually did this. Um, I think they did a couple for the Fortress Maximus head. But... 
it's the first time I've seen them do plastic molding. It's okay. Uh, they're new to the game. Uh, there's a lot of there's some more improvement they could do. Uh, but it, as it is, it, it's pretty good. Um, I love the sculpt on this helmet. It looks so much like um, it looks so much like the uh, the cartoon. It's flared up. I love that. I love that flared up uh, look to his crown or his his uh, head headpiece. And that's I think more accurate than obviously than the what the toy is avail what's available with the toy. Now um, to do this, um, put that there. you'll need to split up the helmet. You slide the back piece over. I thought you could just slide it over like a helmet. You can't um, because of the edges of, of the head sculpt. And you'll have to close it up like this. So it's okay. Um, the purple is a little bit lighter than this purple. This is more. This is more on. This is more on blue. It has a bluish hue than this one. This one is more of a violet purple hue. Come on now, Galvatron. What's wrong with you? Right. And then if you put you put it on. Wow. Look at that. Look at that. That is a Galvatron. Um, I, I do like it. I wish, you know, maybe they could still improve it in later offerings. Uh, I think what they need to do, the plastic is a bit too matte, matted. They need to put a little bit of a gloss, glossy finish to it, just like what Hasbro does. If you, because even if it doesn't match, it's fine. I'm actually okay with the color. It makes the head stand out, but I wish they would have made it a little bit more glossier, the plastic. They could do a finish or a wash on it, or just maybe change the plastic altogether. If they made it glossy, that would have been absolutely perfect. But as it is, the sculpt is gorgeous, and I, and I love it. I love, I'm keeping it this way. This is my new Titans, Titans Return Galvatron. And let's go talk about the highlights of of each of the the sticker sheets on in robot mode you get to see more of that red highlight uh, for the tank treads you get some waste piece highlights here the red um some some people would love the uh the honeycomb style i think that gives it that makes it pop but i'm okay with this foil red foil standard uh sticker on it as well as here more on the legs and the legs, just those tiny, tiny bit of highlights just changes the feel of the character, of the figure. And I absolutely love it. Now, I do apologize. The video has been longer than usual or just longer than that, my standard. But I, I wanted to showcase every bit of it because it is just an absolutely fantastic and gorgeous set. Makes your Galvatron look so much better. I didn't think it could be better, but it did, it, uh, it did make it better. Um, I forgot to mention those blue highlights right there. Uh, it's just so much more uh, accurate right now. I'm, I'm just, maybe it's not cartoon accurate, but as as a toy, as Galvatron, it's it's great. So again, big thanks to Alex at ToyHacks.com for sending it over. You guys can can get this set at ReproLabels.com or ToyHacks.com. It's a wonderful set. I think it's well worth it. Uh, for your Galvatron upgrade, especially if you're a big fan uh, of the Decepticon Commander uh, Galvatron. There you go, folks. The Repro Labels Upgrade Kit, Sticker Sheet, and Helmet Upgrade Kit for, for the Hasbro Titans Return Voyager Class Galvatron. Thanks for watching.